Happy Pride! I'm Danika from the Saskatoon Public Library. Saskatoon is part of Treaty 6 territory and homeland of the Métis, a place where people have learned from each other and shared, listened and told stories for tens of thousands of years. So today we're doing another Born and Brewster. This is it's Pride Week, so I decided to make some rainbow cookies. So I baked some cookies already. These are just cookies from the supermarket, the sugar cookies that you roll out and bake. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a rainbow shape. I don't have rainbow cookie cutters, but I've got my uh, rolling pin and I'm gonna get my daughter to help me today. So she's gonna bring in the camera to show you how I make the shape. And whenever I work with dough, I like to put some flour down on the surface so that it's really easy to pick it up again. I usually put some flour on my rolling pin. I am going to use a big cup to make a big circle and I kind of swipe that through the flour as well and then I press that through to make a big circle and then in order to make a small circle I've got a little jar from garlic and ginger and then I've got my little shape so I'm going to pull away this part and I'm going to use that for another shape in a few minutes but then I'm going to just take a knife or my spatula and cut through that and then I'm going to carefully pick up my shape. So it was a circle with a small circle and then I just slice underneath, slice through so that I have a rainbow. And when I put it down on the pan I can reshape it a little bit. You can see that we did a couple um, just a few minutes ago and then I'll bring that in and I'm keeping the circles too because the dough is better if you don't work it over and over again. And we can use the circles to make little cookies with hearts on. And that's something that, uh, just to show how much pride is really about loving everybody. So one of the things that I did is I took a little bit of icing and I colored it with some beautiful purple and I made a little heart on my circle. And this is my daughter Jasmine, and Jasmine and I are going to take some colored sugar and we're going to make stripes of icing and put colored sh sugar on our rainbows to, to decorate them. Now what I've done is I've just taken up plain white sugar and then I just put a few drops of food coloring in and I wanted to do that ahead of time just to show you what it looks like. And so I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and we're going to try to get as many colors of the rainbow on. And what I've done with the icing is we put them into sandwich bags because we don't have a fancy, um, a fancy icing bag, but if you put it in a sandwich bag, you just snip off the end and you have a nice little, just like a nozzle. And that is something that's pretty easy to do. You can use homemade icing, you can use store-bought icing, and then what Jasmine's going to do, she's got her first stripe of her icing, and then she's going to put some of the color of the rainbow on. And I'm going to start as well. And we did uh, a first take where we had a few bloopers. So we thought we'd show you those cookies in a few minutes, but we also, we learned a little bit. And uh, that's one of the great things about Boredom Busters is we like to learn new things. And so we're going to make our little put some of the colored sugar on to make our stripes of different colors. Now when I was little, my mom used to um, decorate our cakes and cookies with colored coconut. And she'd take some coconut and put it in a baggie and add a few drops of food coloring and then use that coconut, stick that on the icing. So that was one of the ways that she would decorate our cakes and cookies. So you can also you can also color the icing and then make just stripes of color and that would be really beautiful too. One of the things we're missing this year, because we don't get to go over to the Pride Festival in the park, is that every year at Pride there have been people who are really, really amazing at making treats and they've had a bake sale where they've raised some money and they made amazing cupcakes and cookies and candy and so we always stop at that booth. So our our cookies aren't as fantastic and fabulous as that but we're still having fun with it and we just want everybody to know how important pride is to us 
because it's really, it's about being with our friends and sharing love and loving everybody. Just every, every person that's out there. And that's one of the, one of the most important things about Pride Fest. So we are going to keep on making these cookies. We'll show you. I'm almost done mine. She's almost done. So I'm just going to pick out, pick up the ones that we, we did a few minutes ago in our last cake with all the bloopers. That one I already ate a little bit of. And how did it taste? It was pretty good. Now, I can't eat these because I can't have gluten, but I still have a lot of fun making cookies for other people. So these are... I got all the colors on this one. Some of the rainbows. And there's Jasmine rainbow cookie, Jasmine's rainbow cookie. So let's just hold them up. And we'll just show you our cookies. Happy Pride! The icing almost fell off.